New day for our Cleveland Browns. Colt McCoy and Brandon Whedon on the same field at the same time for the first time. It was the first team organized activity since the draft and the first time new QB Brandon Whedon got to work with the veterans. New Channel 5's Paul Kiska spent the day in Berea. And Paul, this is pretty exciting. You got two guys gunning for the same job, but any tension out there today? Good question on the minds of fans tonight. Not on the football field, Anita, that I could tell or notice in Berea today from the sidelines. And while both quarterbacks said the same things about being here just to compete for a starting job, their demeanors with the media afterward, well, they were quite opposite. Last year's starter, this year's rookie, on the field together for the first time. Brandon Whedon, wearing number three, began the day by giving Colt McCoy a pat on the side. Whedon wants Colt McCoy's job as starting quarterback. The media scrutinizing every move between Whedon and McCoy under the watchful eye of head coach Pat Shermer. Yeah, Colt's been fine. He's competing just like the rest of the guys. Whedon, known for his rocket arm in college, was slinging strong passes into a stiff wind in Berea today. Whedon was asked if it was awkward today competing with McCoy for the starting job. You know, I don't, I don't think anybody looks at it awkward. You know, this is uh, it's just part of the business and, and uh, you know, that's just the way professional sports work. I have to earn that job. I mean, they're not just going to hand it to me just because of where they took me. I mean, I think, um, you know, I got to go out and compete and show that I, I belong on the field. Whedon was loose and comfortable, even smiling while taking questions like the one about trying to balance being a rookie with being a leader in the huddle. Well, today in the huddle, they were talking about the previous play, and I kind of stood up for myself, not for myself, but I came and, you know, made a point. I said, hey, listen, you know, I can't tell you what I said because you can't write it, but. Uh, <laughs> nice and sunny yesterday. McCoy made small talk about the weather and seemed quiet and melancholy. A sports writer asked McCoy what it felt like to go from being the stud to having to steal his job back from Whedon. Uh, like I said, I mean, I, I uh, you know, I'm, I'm a competitor and, you know, I'm, I'm coming out here every day working as hard as I can. Um, Okay, Cole McCoy said he got a call from a Cleveland Browns official after Whedon was drafted telling him to just go out and compete. He says that's what he's doing now. McCoy didn't say who called him, though. McCoy also said he has no lasting effects from a concussion he suffered last season. Danita? All right, thank you, Paul.